Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Monday, November 16th. Good morning to you. I hope you have a great day today. Uh, God bless all of you that is, are in Central America, especially Nicaragua, since y'all going to get the hardest part of this storm. Uh, I do show that uh, on some models, it, it shows a lot of strengthening. And also on Google Earth, it shows that it's going to strengthen all the way to uh, Cat 5 is expected with the software. But I do show also... Uh, that within 12 to 18 hours of this storm hitting landfall, it is going to weaken greatly. I'm talking down to a tropical storm. So that, that is even all awesome. It moved earlier. Even the rainfall amounts are less. Even though it's going to be catastrophic no matter what they get at this point, less is better. Uh, now, as of this morning, as of the 4 a.m., it is up to 145 miles per hour. The millibars is down to 933. And it is moving quick. It's moving west at 10 miles per hour. Now, disturbance uh, one is still at 20% chance. Uh, the only thing now is that uh, some slow development could sub subsequently occur late this week while the system moves slowly westward across the southwestern Caribbean Sea. So the system is going to be moving uh, west in the Caribbean, according to NOAA, and it might not pop up over there by Nicaragua where it was first intended because the system is moving west. So we got to check. There's a few uh, dynamics I need to check on that, and I will update that this afternoon for you guys. Now here's a, the model now of what it looks like, and if you notice, the, the storm, the tropical storm section has moved further closer. It was way back here, and then this was a major as well. These were majors. Now it has gone down to this being a tropical storm, and the major is after landfall, which is still catastrophic. It's still terrible. God bless you all over there. Uh, this is it right now. It's passing by San Felipe Lazy Hill, so God bless you over there. Yeah, you are definitely getting a scary storm passing by you, and I know that's a scary thing. It is a big monster. I will not lie. It has a well-formed well eye. It is very strong. Matter of fact, if you see that curve right there, it is strengthening and growing even bigger. Look at that. It's getting even stronger. You're getting some black in that last shot. And this is exactly a 60-minute uh, interval. It's definitely strengthening and getting stronger. So it will be getting a lot stronger. It still has a little bit of ways to go before it actually does make it towards landfall. But as you can see, it's already getting rain, winds, they're already getting the effects uh, on both Nicaragua and Honduras. But this is this is a field, the very, very dangerous field that we need to worry about uh, right here, doll. This big, large area. And look at the size of that eye. It is huge and strengthening. So that's that's not really a, a great thing. Now, of course, to, uh, according to HMON, it's shown that the most intense part will be about 937 millibars, and it'll be down to 124. Uh, not winds, which is a little over 140, 142 miles per hour winds, which is very bad. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Now, now, if you watch right before landfall, this is the most strongest point. And then right here on this part of landfall is when it starts getting some strong, strong winds uh, on land because all that was over water at that point. And it did go down to 120 knots, but still very powerful. But once it goes and you, you check the timing, each one of these are... Uh, three hours so three hours six hours later six hours later okay check it out this is the very beginning this is when it gets any winds of the, of, of the bad uh, core of this cell and that is in 24 hours then in 30 at 30 hours six hours later from that it starts weakening greater and then at nine hours later it is down to 57 knot winds and that is so awesome. 57 knot winds is literally a tropical storm uh, in the 60s, about 60 miles an hour, 65. And that is good news if you ask me. I even though it's terrible that all this is even going to happen in the first place. But you got to bring some kind of good news to this uh, that's, that's going on. And not, what I'm showing for y'all guys over there is that within, within uh, 9 to 12 hours, this thing literally will weaken down. Well, let me show you. And this is the H wharf right here. It shows it gets down to uh, 948 millibars. And it gets down to 106 knot winds. Now, if we go 3, 6, that within 6 hours, it's already down to 97. Within 9 hours, it's already down to 73 knot winds. Then 
doing. You get down to 12 hours. 53 knot winds. That is awesome. That's that's in the 60s. That's just that's just what you would want if, if this big thing was roaring through. You wouldn't want that on land. But within 12 hours, this thing is going to go down to a tropical storm very quickly. And, ver and you still got all the rain that's going to be going with these rain bands. So there's still a big threat with the flooding. Okay, and the, and the winds are catastrophic and damaging winds when it first hit. But within 12 to, to I'll say 15 hours at the latest, but within 12 hours, this thing weakens to a tropical storm. And if you watch it, here it is again. Here's the HMON. And it gets down actually to 935 is what they picked up. And if and you see, this is when the wind field hits it. So they are getting major effects uh, from the storm hitting. But as soon as it gets into the bad part, and each one, as you see, is three hours. Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve hours away, it's already down to a hurricane. Fifteen hours away, it's already down to a tropical storm. Then it weakens greatly, down to 992, which is great news. Now, as far as the rainfall amounts, if you look, within the first five days, there all, all this section is not purple no more. Okay, a lot of it, a lot of it went away. Look how I mean, it's still heavy in the purple. I'll explain that to you in a minute. But if you notice, the track is different. And the reason why it gets more purple over here is because the model's picking up maybe some more rainfall. You see that at the end, you get more, some more rainfall possibly from the next uh, system that could be forming in the Caribbean. And I will update that this afternoon, like I said. Now, the easiest part to read this because it is in millimeters because you have different shades of purple, and this will help you out in the location that you're at. Now, if, when you look at 200 millimeters, you're looking at 8 inches of rainfall, okay? And it goes 4 inches per 100 millimeters. So the purple, the 200, the dark purple, all this area that went down is 8 inches of rainfall. Uh, and you're looking at about 6 inches for this gray, all this gray area. But 8 inches for the dark, and then as you get a little bit more up the shades, and you look like right here, there's not the brightest part, but, the, but darker than the brighter part, this is around 300, okay? So this is about 12 inches of rainfall for, that, for this dark area that you do see. But when you get into past this dark area, you get into this brighter part, you see there's only a few sections. See that brightness? It's not the brightest part. The brightest part is right here, uh, what they're expecting. But in this bright part uh, section, it looks like it'd be around the 400. Okay, when the 400, anywhere from 4 to 500, that'd be anywhere, let's see, 8, eight uh, inches for 200, 12 inches, 16, and 20. So all this brightness here around this brightness could be up to 16 inches of rainfall. And then this very high brightness could be 20 inches, uh, 24 inches for this section right here. This is for the rainfall later. But if you look just at the first original swath through, and you see that Belize, uh, South Belize is affected, and so is Guatemala. You see that it's a different area. That last bit of section comes from that, that maybe uh, anomaly that could form up into the Caribbean. But still, if you go and you check and see, it's a lot less rainfall than it was originally, which is a great thing. Uh, now, if you look right on Google Earth, okay, you can see that it is expected to be a Cat 5 hurricane. And it will have winds sustained up to 155 miles per hour. Okay, the source is from NOAA National Hurricane Center, just so you know. And then it goes down to a Cat 4, which is 138 miles an hour, which is still very powerful. Okay, but the next one, it goes down to 63 miles per hour tropical storm. That's awesome news, if you ask me. That That is just fabulous. I mean, it's still bad that what it's going to do in this area is still going to be bad for, for the rainfall and what's going to happen. And we do have viewers in these areas. So God bless all of you. Uh, I hope that y'all will be okay through this. But if I can bring any good news, any, any shed of light on this, it will go down to a tropical storm within 12 to 15 hours of hitting landfall which is great because Ada, if you remember, Ada stayed strong uh, for 24 to almost 30 hours after landfall, I believe. It was, it was a very powerful storm. This one's very powerful as well, but I'm showing it will go down very quickly as well. Now, God bless all you all today. I do have some updated news. 
and I will update that other uh, system that we did see in the Caribbean. I believe that it will be this afternoon. But I have some some things that will help you. Uh, now, as as far as dealing with these good and bad things that are out there, and, and please hit that like button for me. I do appreciate it. Uh, it all it all starts with controlling in your mind, and we all know that these battles do start in our mind. So I found some some tips that might help you. Uh, with that area of, of battle, okay? Just remember a few things first. Uh, it's pretty much what, you know how it is, what you think of, you become, right? Just like it says, what's in a man's heart, so a man be. If we sow a thought, we will reap the action of that thought. That's, that's just the way the universal action is on everything if you, if you think about something you become that action right now if you sow an action you start reaping the habit so that's a that's a bad thing once you start doing something and then once you start keep doing it it just becomes a habit now when we sow a habit we, we reap a character now it is it's kind of like you can just see what's going to happen to you because certain characters have certain outcomes and there are certain ways that you become that character. So you got to watch what you do on the daily. Okay, because there's a lot of evil things out there and you can feel it whether you should be doing something or not. You know, if you if you're if you have God and, and you, you've changed and you got Jesus in you in your heart, we can all feel good, good or bad while we're doing it. Just like when you're watching something and, and if it's in a kind of sexual thing and it's sexual immorality and, and you'd be like, man, this ain't right. You get, you get that feeling of just something ain't right. So you got to watch out. Because when you sow a character, you reap a destiny. So no matter what you pick, if you, if you start being a certain way, the life will be a certain way. Okay? It, it, it's, it's how to think. It's, it's how to control your thoughts. And that really is where, the, where today's uh, reading lesson will come from. Because where, where, where will these thoughts lead me these are the questions that you should be asking yourself when you start wondering what thoughts to think of what thoughts not to think of whether it's a good thing or a bad thing you start asking yourself where will these thoughts lead me okay will these thoughts get me where i want to go very important questions you you, you ask yourself when you question these thoughts are are the thoughts scripturally acceptable Will these thoughts build me up or tear me down? These are all very good questions to help you figure out if you should go with, with an action or not. And it helped me. It very much helped me. And the easy way to, to break it down is love is purity. Lust is sin. All that gimme, gimme, I want, I want. All that lust is sin. Love develops. Lust destroys. Love is peaceful, and lust is anxiety. Okay, I just wanted you to get your head a little bit in that area. Okay, before I, I read this to you. Colossians 3. If ye, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above and not on things on the earth. So once you think that you're, you've been saved and you know you've been saved, start, start trying to get your thoughts and everything that you, that you stay focused on as things above and not on earthly things. Okay? For ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil, concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, and the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. We used to all live in those sins. So if you don't want to, 
You know better now, so, so do better. Watch what you watch what you watch. Watch what you feed in your head every day on the daily. Don't don't reap a character. But now ye also put off all thing. Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not to one another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long-suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord, Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Wives, submit yourselves into your husbands as it is fit in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing unto the Lord. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service or at men pleasures, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the, the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. But he hath doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day. All y'all in Nicaragua, Honduras, God bless y'all over there. It, it does show it is going to be lighter uh, rainfall. It's going to be lighter effects, especially from 12 to 15 hours on. So if I can bring you any light on these bad news, it is that. So God bless you. Stay safe. I do wish the best for every single one of you. All glory. It does go to God. Amen.